All right, sending it over to the Weather Center. Matt, so glad you could stop by to your old weekend crew. Yeah, boy, I love you guys more than anything. I'm telling you, uh, I'm about a minute away from a sneeze, Lena. <laughs> I've never sneezed on air, but I have a feeling today might be the day. No, it never happens. Uh, it doesn't happen. Because okay. when you're on, the adrenaline goes. I've often wondered what happened. I've never... Okay. After so many years, no, it's never, never happened. Never it's happened not happening. It's well, not happening. you know, it's because you're concentrating. There's not a lot of weather to speak of, let's be <laughs> honest. It's going to be pretty sunny the next couple of days, so his brain's not working, you know, like it Come normally on. does. We'll see here. But anyway, if you need to take over, I will just kindly shut my mic off. I'll have you, you know, maybe they'll open up your mic and you that, can finish that's okay. the forecast. Okay. I appreciate know. that. Uh, we would love to see you do weather at some point. Temperatures outside, beautiful. It's a little chilly compared to where we've been, right? We're in the 60s and 70s. If you get in the shade, you're feeling the chill, but otherwise it's just downright comfortable. 60s and 70s will be the rules. We go throughout the rest of the evening. We've got a light wind generally out of the north and the west. That's providing not only drier air, but that cooler air behind yesterday's frontal boundary, and it will remain light overnight tonight. Final number I want to show you is the dew point. The dew point's how we measure how much moisture the air has, throw out humidity, percentage that you're seeing on your phone app. Dew point is the way to tell if it's humid or not. When dew points get into the 50s, you can start to feel the air a little bit. You notice how we've got a lot of 40s out there. So we do have dry air, but the dew point will start to rise over the next couple days. And once it gets up into the 50s and especially the 60s, that's when we can call it humid. Humidity is not close to us right now, but it will start to slowly work in here on a strong southerly breeze as that moisture collects out in the plain state. So tomorrow you'll notice a little bit more humidity and then we'll really start to pour it on as we get into Memorial Day and Tuesday as well. But comfortably cool tonight for all your Saturday night plans looking great. We do have some clouds, especially as you get inland. Notice temperatures settling back near 60 lakefront, but I think we'll get into the 50s. As you get down towards Akron, Mansfield, the Worcester area it will be a comfortably cool night. Reason why we've got high pressure in charge of our forecast right now. Out towards the west, there's a pretty strong frontal boundary. Notice all the activity out in the Rockies. Much needed rain for them out in Colorado, areas of Utah. We've got the warm front out ahead of that. And what you don't see are the temperatures till we throw it on here. That warm front on a strong southerly wind is bringing back the heat to areas of the plains, and that's what's going to work in here tomorrow. Some of the numbers, you notice how we are one of the cooler spots in the country right now, but that'll change. Tomorrow we'll get into this air mass, likely near 80 degrees, probably low 80s for many of you. And then we're talking upper 80s to near 90 degrees as that strong late May sun continues to cook this atmosphere here. These numbers will go up over the next couple of days. So your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. As we go through the night, just tranquil conditions. We're back into the 50s inland. You notice pretty cool tomorrow morning. We'll have some passing high clouds from time to time. If you're northeast Ohio Sunday, looking great. Lots of sunshine, few passing clouds. Temperatures warmer than where they were today. We'll reach the low 80s in the afternoon. Again, a little bit more humid as well. That humidity will really play a toll on our temperatures Saturday, Sunday night. We'll likely not get out of the mid 60s for your Monday morning. So here comes the humidity building back into the humid category as we get into Memorial Day. It stays downright humid Tuesday, Wednesday. And then we have a drop off that comes with the frontal boundary that arrives here around Thursday. So the big picture, look at how the next 10 days shape out. Notice the strong southerly breeze that develops. We're dry tomorrow. We're dry on Monday with some heat. We're dry on Tuesday as storms break out off towards our west. It's Wednesday when our next chance of rain arrives. That frontal boundary will sag south across the lake. We'll likely have a stout line of thunderstorms working across the lake sometime Wednesday, depending on the timing that settles south. And all indication is we'll have a little bit more rain moving here on Thursday. Some of the models dry us out quickly, so Thursday is kind of the day in question, but overall we'll have another nice weekend as it looks right now next weekend. In terms of rainfall, I know you got your plants in. The landscape's looking good. We're not expecting a lot of rain over the next seven days. Notice the bulk of it is up in the central and northern plains, so you are going to need to give your water or your garden a little watering here. In terms of the yearly rainfall departure, we're right near average in Cleveland, a little above average in Akron, and we're a little bit above average in Mansfield, so we're sitting pretty in in terms of ground moisture around here. Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast 88 on Memorial Day 89 on Tuesday and then there's that frontal boundary Lena bringing us cooler conditions by Thursday and Friday. There you go again 89. You couldn't give us a 90. Yep. You just like you're just going to hover there at 89. Right? I'm not going to commit to anything. <laughs> Come Much on. luck in life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> OK, that's a whole other story. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> right.